This video is intended for adult collectors or adults who want an nostalgia fix, not for kids. Although children may appear in this video, they are in it for review purposes only. If you are a child, please make sure to get your parents' permission before watching and make them watch it with you. Kill that! This Hector Canal is bringing you a super unexpected quick unboxing review of the Back to the Future Time Machine DeLorean. I went to Target. I spotted this one and also spotted a smaller version, which was a remote control version of the DeLorean. This one was $50. But $50, $30, uh, the one I really wanted was this one because I could see the potential of being able to fit my G.I. Joes in it. And I could probably look for reaction figures for Back to the Future. I got it. Let's unbox it. Let's review it. And let's put some G.I. Joes in it. And I don't have a lot of reaction figures. The one I do have is Michael Myers. So we're going to stick Michael Myers in there and see if he could go Back to the Future. Let's take one last look all the way around. There's one side of it. All the detail in the box is actually really good. You have the clock right there in the background. There's one sixteen scale. Nowhere in the box does it say that the reaction figures fit in it, but Nika, Super 7, Reaction, they're all connected, right? It's got a little bit of info there. In person, it's, it's perfect. Ages 14 and up. <laughs> let's smell it wow it smells a bit metallic all right so we got the back side here that is really nicely detailed And that's really nice that they got the licensing. And just like the box said, it is highly detailed. And yes, it is. This is really nice. This is my second DeLorean. My first is the McDonald's DeLorean with Doc Brown sticking out of it. Unfortunately, the hood doesn't pop up. The wheels don't turn. That's like just nitpicking at the outside of it. One of the other things that the box boasts is the working doors. So let's open her up. That looks cool. Very much detail in the steering wheel. Let's see if the steering wheel moves. The decals are placed in there pretty good. Looks like the paint job was pretty good too on all the wiring right there. The decals are set a little crooked. Eh, not too bad though. And that's just nitpicking little things. There are no pedals. It is basically just a sticker of the flux capacitor. It's small enough that you can't really get such a great close look, but they put it on there. All together, this looks really nice. Especially for the size, it's not like it's a 1 6, it's a 1 16th scale. So, oh, and that's a shame right there. Honestly, I would lift this up and like play like it's flying and stuff. This version doesn't fly, but I don't care. <laughs> I'd still make it fly. And it rolls really nice. All right. The shell of the body is metal. 
these pieces right here, that's, it's all plastic. This is plastic right here, but the door is metal. The inside seems to be plastic. Oh, and the seat feels real nice. One missed opportunity right there, which is the wheels are not made out of rubber. Is it worth 50 bucks? Let me put some toys in it, and then I'll be able to tell you if it's worth it. That's been Luke, Law, Doc, Michael Myers, and Frankenstein are all about the same height. The only difference is mostly the bulkiness and their articulation. Seems like his feet don't allow him to fit inside. He's got big old feet. I'm a little disappointed here. I don't want to mess up the car and I don't want to mess up this original 1980 Luke Skywalker. Renko's the Frankenstein monster. His feet aren't as big as Luke's, so hopefully this will work out. Come on. Looks like it's that articulation that won't Allow, okay, I'm kind of jamming them in there. And, uh... All right, so we got three figures here left to try to get into the DeLorean. And this is almost becoming like The Bachelor, since he is a reaction figure, just like the other Back to the Future figures. Let's try out Michael Myers. His feet are already stuck. You don't get a rose here. Yo, Joe, we're going to go with Doc, Doc Brown. Come on. <laughs> uh, if he doesn't fit, I doubt Law will fit. Mm -hmm. Nope. stinks man not to be deterred i went around the house looking for smaller figures so although the 25th anniversary general hawk is not smaller he is more articulated and he seems to be a little thinner than the regular gi joes nope the dark knights bruce wayne Indiana Jones. Stick him in here with a satchel. He looks kind of cool, but he's not he's not even sitting. Nope. Help us, Luke. You're our only hope. Now he is a little shorter and he's a lot thinner and he's got more articulation. Come on, Luke. I think this guy might make it. No. It's a little bit more. See that lack of space right there for the feet. That's why they won't fit. Use the force. Use the force. I really wanted this guy to fit. I mean, the only reason I bought the 1960s Batmobile with Batman and Robin was the potential of having the G.I. Joes fit inside it, having other figures, other universes fit inside the Batmobile. The big reason I got the Jaws was because of the potential of fitting G.I. Joes inside it. Heck, I had so much fun with it that I even made a little mini movie using Jaws and him attacking all these G.I. Joes and eating them. This, I could have had so much fun doing stop motion animation, doing all kinds of like little videos with it and just posing them around with it. But 
not even this small Star Wars figure could fit in it. Unfortunately, I feel like I paid way too much for the DeLorean. I mean, if I can't even fit my other toys in there and not like play, but just like pose them, do all, you know, just put them around the house. Literally put them around the house with all these other figures and then switch them around, put them next to the G.I. Joe's, put them next to the Star Wars, put them next to anything. Man, that is really disappointing. I wish I could jump into this vehicle and it really went back in time for me to tell myself, hey, don't buy it. Just look at it, admire it, and that's it. Getting so desperate for this to work that I'm even gonna stick some of my Muppet Babies in there and see if that works. You gotta be kidding. Not even Muppet Babies. Thank you for joining me on this very sad episode of Quick Unboxing Reviews. As we unboxed and reviewed the NECA Back to the Future Time Machine 116 scale of the DeLorean. Please check out our next Quick Unboxing Review that we hope will end in a more happier tone. Goodbye.